welcome to Lyme Regis Museum, home of Mary Anning and the birthplace of paleontology. I'm Dr. Angina Katwa, I'm an earth scientist and I'm absolutely fascinated by the stories that rocks and fossils can tell us about the ancient history of the earth. Lyme Regis Museum is home to over one and a half thousand rocks and fossils that tell an extraordinary history of life on earth. The museum holds key specimens that were collected by major fossil collectors of the Victorian period. These include Mary Anning, William Buckland, William Coney Bear and Henry de la Beach. Every rock, every fossil contains a mystery waiting to be uncovered. By becoming fossil detectives, we can look for those minute clues in the rocks that will tell us about extraordinary hidden mysteries that tells us about life on Earth hundreds of millions of years ago. 200 million years ago, the land where Lyme Regis is today would have been at the bottom of a deep Jurassic Sea. And those waters were inhabited by incredible predators, some of which you can see behind me today. This extraordinary creature on the wall is an ichthyosaur and its skeleton was uncovered in 2005 during some coastal engineering works that were being conducted on the Lyme Regis coastline. Ichthyosaurs were incredibly predatory marine reptiles. They were dolphin-like creatures with streamlined bodies designed to swim through the water swiftly to chase prey. They had long, thin snouts and large eyes to actually help them to search for predators in those deep Jurassic seas. The ichthyosaurs were one of the major predators in the Jurassic seas. And this particular specimen behind me has a beautiful row of vertebrae, which you can see stretching out along its spine down to its tail. As a fossil detective, we're always looking for a clue that can tell us how these creatures might have died. This is a vertebra from an ichthyosaur, and it was actually found by Paddy Howe. When Paddy was preparing the fossil after he found it, he discovered something that really was quite interesting. On the side of the vertebra itself, there are two marks within the bone, two deep puncture wounds. But actually, that's not the full story. On the other side of the bone itself, there are two further holes here. Now what this tells us is that perhaps when this ichthyosaur died and sank to the bottom of the seabed, another creature might have come along scavenging all sorts of flesh to eat and it would have bitten deep into the bone itself. I mean, this is quite a hard bone to sink your teeth into, so I dread to think how much pain that would have caused it. I love museums because they're a treasure trove of stories. You can open cabinets and basically enter a whole new world you weren't expecting. Lyme Regis Museum is packed full of stories and as we explore all sorts of different fossils and the hidden stories within, I hope you, like me, will become a fossil detective.